Today at Samsung's annual developer conference, we're getting our first glimpse at the UI that's going to be on Samsung's first foldable phone and also on the future Galaxy S10. Samsung is calling it One UI. So what we're looking at is a Galaxy S9 Plus that is using Samsung's new One UI interface. This is the interface that is going to replace the current interface. It's also what we're going to see on Samsung's foldable phone. So the main purpose of this interface is that you can do everything one-handed. It basically looks the same. This phone is running on Android 9 Pie with the One UI on top of it. You notice the changes when you dive down, so when you're in multitasking here, you kind of have a new view. Things are a lot blockier. There are rounded corners that are meant to echo the rounded corners of the device. You'll see that there's a darker theme. You can actually get to the dark mode yourself through display. Click on night theme and everything will get darker. You notice some of these changes if you go into gallery. This is radically different in design. Everything is just grouped into these big icons. They sort of remind me, honestly, of the icons on the iPhone, Apple's interface. So down here at the bottom, you'll see that the navigation has moved from the top down to the bottom where it's easier to get. The idea is that you can just operate this phone one-handed without straining your thumb to get all the way up to the top. Nowhere shows this better than in Messages, where the top portion of the screen is dedicated to viewing and the bottom portion of the screen is dedicated to action. This is a theme that Samsung wanted to carry throughout the entire One UI experience. You see the same in the dialer. You'll see a space between the letters, so it's visually easier to see. There's also a lot more visual interest. Samsung is focusing on the use of color. In the previous UI, you wouldn't see the space between F and G. It would just all be run together without any break. So the idea is that if you're looking for your J contacts, your I will zero in on the four that you have here. These navigation tabs are here at the bottom, but when you dial in a number, they disappear because you don't need them anymore. You've taken control and you're adding the number yourself. Clear the number and they return. You'll notice these thematic changes throughout. So swipe left and the interface looks a lot different. Everything is grouped and you see the same rounded rectangular bubble that is permeating this OS and defining it. It's been a long time since Samsung has so radically redesigned the operating system that runs on top of Android. It's a fresh and welcome change. When you're in multitasking mode, you'll see icons, suggestions at the bottom. You can either select from here or you can swipe up to see all of your apps and easily jump back into multitasking. This button in the bottom left, like in previous versions, will help you hide or unhide the navigation bar. If you don't see what you're looking for, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page to find more settings. In One UI, Samsung seems to have stopped a little bit short of making it really easy to use the phone with one hand. You still have to reach up to the top to pull down the navigation toggles and your notification tray. Samsung could have made it easier by swiping up from the bottom or swiping up from a corner, but that's where Samsung Pay lives right now. Since One UI is built on top of Android and Android 9 supports gestures, you can also ditch the navigation bar entirely and just use gesture support switching between navigation buttons and full screen gestures. So you would press hard in the center to go home, you would swipe up on the right to get to multitasking, and you would swipe up on the left to go back. Okay, we're seeing a bit of a new treatment when you press the Bixby button, you get the B at the top instead of at the bottom. So even the design of the navigation buttons has changed and so is the look. We've got the regular Galaxy S9 Plus on the left, Galaxy S9 Plus with one UI on the right. And this is, what, this is what multitasking looks like. Totally different looks. The icons are so much bigger with One UI. You can see the time and the date very clearly with One UI, and you really can't see that with the current operating system. All right, so this is a look at the settings menu, and you can see you just have a lot more space at the top to see where you are. Some might call it wasted space, but what that's doing is it's really concentrating these groupings 
of apps. The font's bigger, the area's bigger, it's just an easier target to hit. On the Galaxy S9 Plus here, you see that One UI is echoing a lot of the same design elements that we see in Android Pie. What we're not seeing is the way that this is going to conform to all of the unique experiences that you can have on the foldable phone. That is something that we're gonna see when we get our first look at that device.